and of who? Great power. That's who you are. That's who you are. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Turn to try five more neighbors. I love you, I love you, I love you. I meant what I'm saying. I love you, I love you, I love you. Can you try 15 more neighbors? I love you. I'm serious about what I'm saying. I love you. I love you. I love you. Can you try 20 more neighbors? I love you. I love you. Love you. I 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 love you. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Can we lift those hands together? Hold hands with someone and start to say, Thank you, Jesus. Hold hands, hold hands, and lift it up. Lift it up. All in agreement. Lift it up. Join, join, keep joining as long as you can join. And say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We believe in you. We worship you. We worship you. That's why we're here to worship you. We worship you, Lord. Concerning the pain that in my brother's heart, my sister's heart, I believe today shall be the end in the name of Jesus. And joy will start to reign. Peace will start to reign. I believe. I'm holding hands with my brother, with my sister. Say, I believe. And we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory, for answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we now pray? Hallelujah. We love you. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you. Let's pray. Father, I ask that you give your servant me. This is what Jesus awaken my ears to hire a disciple, Lord Jesus. Open my ears to have a second hearing so that I shall not be rebellious or turn backward in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you this morning. We are grateful because you are our Father, because you cares and love us so much. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to worship you and to hear from you. Father, thank you, Lord, because you are the great teacher. We know that you will teach us, speak to us, renew us, and fill us off with your fresh oil, fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus, do what no man can do for us today. Speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus. For our parents, brothers and sisters, we commit unto your hand. We said, be with them. Keep them safe in the name of Jesus. And we will continue to hear good news from them. They will always hear good news from us because we are your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the great power that you have filled us with this month and we will enjoy all the days of our lives in Jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord can we have our beautiful seat today we are going to do it slow 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 small small hallelujah no shouting no 
Small, 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 small. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's open to the book of Matthew 22. Matthew chapter 22, verse, verse 36. He says, teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? And verse 37, give an answer. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God. Wait, with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. And he says, this is the first and the greatest commandment. If you love the Lord, what happened? You will worship him. You love whom you worship. You will give him all when it comes to praise, when it comes to worship, when it comes to singing. Why? You love him. So when it comes to dancing today, I will see how many people love the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you love him, you will show him that I love you. Lord, Deuteronomy 30. And verse 6 says, The Lord your God will change your heart. He that you love will change your heart. And the hearts of all your descendants, so that you will love him with all your heart. And so, and so, you might live. When you keep loving him, worshiping him, singing to him, he will keep you. He will protect you. He will heal you. He will save you. That is God at work. And seven said, the Lord your God will inflate all those causes on your enemies and on those who hate and persecute you. You don't need to fight. Just love the Lord. Worship him. Sing to him. Then he will do the fighting for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's see Thessalonians 3.3. 3. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 3. But the Lord is faithful. Who is faithful? The Lord. But the Lord is faithful. You are looking for someone that is faithful is the Lord. He will strengthen you. And guide you from the evil ones. So why not worship, sing, and dance to him? He said, for him is faithful. Believe him. Keep loving him. Because he's a faithful God. Keep praising him. Because he's a faithful God. He said then he will strengthen you. You will no longer be weak. You are dancing. He gives you more strength. Hallelujah. As you sing, he gives you more strength. Then take all sickness, diseases away. Because he's a faithful God. Our father is requesting us to worship him. Because that shows how we feel about him. When you feel something about him, you show it. You can't hide it. I love him. Then when you hear someone singing his song, your joy, your dance, 
because you love him. Worship is not about just singing and dancing, but about what is in you and how you live your life. What is in you and about how you live your life. How do you live your life as a Christian? You can answer that. Worship means get closer to me and get my presence. Get closer. You sing as you are singing the song. Each day, each time, you get closer to him. Then you keep enjoying his presence. Worship is not just about singing and dancing. But Jesus wants your life. He wants your heart. Not, they are just saying it. Let me just sing. He wants your heart. Today as we sing and dance. I want you to give him your heart. Give it to him all. Because while you are in your mother's womb, he said what? I know you. Give it all to him. Him that knows you. Worship is the only gift you can give God. You can make a bar. Pandadiam. No. Worship. Have you seen when they are dancing, someone is singing obey. Sunny uh, 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 um, Adi singing and they start spraying. I saw one <laughs> in the video. They sprayed her inside the nylon. As a man was singing to him, to her, she was all the money. I don't think it's up to hundred thousand. I don't even think it's up to fifty thousand. It was one hundred, hundred naira, two hundred, and she was spraying the man. I said, ah, this money you could have just gathered to use. But that is praise. So the Lord wants all of us. If a man can rise up because someone is praising her, giving all, imagine us. God, tell your neighbor, I will praise him like never before today. Like never before today, I will praise him. You are my neighbor. Don't worry. When I push you, tell them, don't worry. If I push you, don't worry. Hallelujah. Forgive me. Today, just forgive me. Hallelujah. No, I'm going to dance and praise him. Today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Most of us who love to worship we love a worship song but God loves a worship life. Keep it on. Keep it on to worship him. For your life to be more like a worship you have to live for your life to be more like a worship you have to live your life in worship. Worship him. Worship him. God wants us to do all with him and do nothing without him. So today, worship him. And after today, keep worshiping. John 3, 16, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave. What do you have to give him? Nothing. Worship starts with God's love for us. Not our love for God. He loves us. It starts from him loving us. Remember the man that loves you. And give him all. 
That's why he proved it by giving us his son to show that I love you. So show that you love him by worshiping him. Don't worship him for love. Worship from love. Let it be from your love. But there will be times you have to worship. You have to worship God when you are weary. Not when you are winning. Most of us, when, when God does something, that's when we will worship him. No. When he has not done it. In pain. Worship him. Sometimes we have to worship God. When we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Because your blessing is near. And you can't be distracted. So you keep worshiping God. Let your love grow. Hallelujah. Just like this. I think you will hear me when I drop the mic. Can you? Because I think I have to. I beg the multimedia for this. I don't think. Hallelujah. I don't know if I can hold it. Praise the Lord. You see, you, we are in the world. Hallelujah. So, this is God. Did you see the difference between this water? Did you see? Then you come. And this is us. Hallelujah. God, us, the world. As we miss in. Did you see? We start to shake in there. So when confusion and worries comes, don't be worried. Don't be what? Worry. Don't be worried. You have God that can take care and will take care. The shaking comes in, but God is in control. He keep filling you up. Did you see? He, he fills you up and you are stable. And each time you stand with him stable, the Lord will keep watching over you. But what happened to us? Problem comes. House rent. We are what? Worried. Hallelujah. School fees. We are what? Worried. What again? Never bill. What again? Tomatoes and pepper. What again? What? Bread. Well, we all need that. We leak and leak till we are empty. And we start floating. Yet we are in the world. 
Yet the Father has filled us up. But we look out. Watch out. Hallelujah. Many leaks for many reasons. For many things. And that has held us from worshiping God. Many can worship because their heart is leaking. Not because they don't want to worship. But it's leaking because of so many things. My business, my work, my children, my marriage. They're leaking for so many reasons. And they can't worship him. Please stay in him. So that when the enemy comes to discourage you, the Lord but take charge. Love him. Because your love will protect, will guide, will keep him. Know that the enemy is trying to steal your love. So we need to walk with him, love him, and worship him. Many times, you know what we do? Way down. Because of the troubles. And when it comes to time to worship, I've loved the mic, but it is well with us. Thank you, sir. So we are way down. And what happened? To lift up our hands to shout hallelujah. We think and think because of what? The word. Lift your hands and shout hallelujah. We are worried, thinking, and we can't lift it. So when you see some hands are up and later on, not too long, it's going down. The weight weight of what we are carrying of what we are thinking take them off today drop them unto the Lord him that is able to carry all hallelujah my assistant like this you don't see I think this time hallelujah praise the Lord we see we have different sizes for different problems bigger ones you think yours is so big and we we are holding on it then when later no, yes. When other problem comes in, we add 
will add to it. When another one comes in, what happened? We add. Let me take. Hallelujah. Then. even to lift it. It's not by power, it's not by might. By the Holy Spirit, we need the Spirit of God to help us. Can we see John, John, John. John 3, 6. John. John 3, 6. Human can reproduce human life, but the Holy Spirit Spirit gives birth to the spirit, spiritual life. ERV says, the only life people get from their human parents is physical. But the new life that the spirit gives a person is spiritual. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Stop bothering, stop, stop worrying. Stop get and start to get the right thing. Start to get the right solutions. When you call the Spirit, transfer all to God today. Don't try to lift anything. Transfer them to God. We have come lifting our hands to Him to transfer all to Him. When I transfer it, the Holy Spirit took charge. A 
I'm no longer carrying anything. I was just there. Hallelujah. Transfer it. Bow your heads as you transfer all to the Holy Spirit. Transfer it to the Lord.